Hey, how are we going? So today I'm going to show you a bit of a tip that we found with our kitchen sink. So if you've got a, a camp kitchen um, sink, the one that we've got is actually a Dometic brand. So if you've got any of that or basically any sliding kitchen sink that comes out of your camper trailer, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that we've found to, I guess, get rid of that water quickly. So the hoses that come with it are a real pain. Uh, we'll show you what we went to and then what our final solution is. So let's go check this out. So the issue we found with the standard black hose that came with it, one was, was a real pain to kind of, uh, I guess, wind back up. But the other thing is when you let water out, the water would either, you'd have to get the bucket in the right spot or move it around and it splash your legs. It was just a real pain. So that was the first thing that came with the trailer. Uh, but then we moved on to uh, another hose, which I'll show you, show you now. So this is the next thing we got. Uh, it's actually quite expensive from Bunnings and it worked well, we thought it was a good idea, but it was just real, I guess, flimsy. Um, and it just gets stuck with all the grease when it sits in the bucket. So you can actually extend that, which we thought was really cool, but just keep snapping. And then what you gotta do is you gotta try and keep forcing that um, back up into and wrapping that around. And what would happen as you close the drawers, things would get caught. So and it just snapped so it's a real pain it's real brittle um, but then we thought there must be a better solution so the next bit is what we actually found uh, so I'll just show you that now so this is what we've come up with um, just a bit of some PVC pipe from Bunnings and you can see there's a thread adapter so that thread adapter just we've just basically used some amalgamating tape and just wedged that onto the onto the um, the drain pipe and then what we've got is we've got some some more PVC pipe, um, just with a thread. If you can see that, it's a bit of a thread there. Um, and then what we do is we just simply go and get that on. And you just screw that in. So now what happens is, you put the bucket straight underneath and you just get the water just go straight down in the bucket. So it's a real simple solution, cheap as well, and just saves a lot of headache. And the best thing about this is it's, you know, once you've finished with it, you just simply unscrew it again. And you just tuck it back into your, into your drawer and then close it up and you're good to go. So. So there's our quick tip of how to get rid of wastewater. So if you've got one of those sliding kitchens and you're finding it a real pain getting rid of that wastewater, hope our little tip has uh, given you some hints to how to make that easy and effective to get rid of that water. So I hope you found this video informative. If you have, I'd love you to give us a thumbs up and click on the bell to subscribe. You know, we're always checking out different products and different sites. So I'd love you to get notified as soon as they get out. So that's it for now and I'll catch you next time.